All right, so today is a uh, diff install. Day nine. Well, this. Yeah, so <laughs> by the end of this video, this car should be doing donuts right on the street. Yeah. I will be doing donuts right over there by the end of this video if we do everything correctly. See. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna show you how to install a dish, so um Yeah we have our DLSD there, uh the old housing, so uh first things first, let's uh put it together. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is clean the mating surface between the diff and the housing. Next, you're going to want to apply your gasket maker all around the diff housing, or if you prefer to do it on the diff, you can do it that way too. Next, put your two pieces together and make sure it slides properly into place. You'll hear it when it does so. The next thing you're going to want to do is put all your bolts in. Two of them are longer than the rest, so make sure you check where those go before putting everything together. Tighten all your bolts and make sure you tighten them evenly. If you want to be extra safe, you can tighten them to the recommended pattern and torque specs. Be careful with this bolt because it is hard to get to. We had to use a really small ratchet to loosen and tighten it. Make sure you don't strip it because we actually stripped ours trying to get it out. Next, you're going to put in both of your half shafts. You're going to need to tap them in to set them into place, so I recommend you use something like we did with a hammer or rubber mallet and a wooden block. Now you're going to put the diff under the car and jack it up to line it into place. This is way easier with a friend. When I did it by myself, it was not a good time. Now that the diff is back in place, you're going to want to grab the bushings and nuts and put them where they go. Make sure that you line it up with the studs sticking out of the subframe and bolt everything down to specs. Now put these four nuts on the studs that were sticking out of the subframe. Next you're going to want to reattach your drive shaft. It's just four nuts and bolts that go on all four corners of the drive shaft. To tighten the bolts you're going to need to have the car in gear. And to rotate it around to reach the other bolts, you're going to need to put it in neutral, turn it, put it back in gear, and tighten those bolts. Now gather all your hardware to connect your axles to your half shafts. Attaching the axles is pretty easy. You just have to pull it back a little until it lines up with the four studs. After that, just get your nuts and tighten everything up. Next, grab your PFP and the four bolts that go with it. Our new diff didn't have this little bracket to mount the PFP to the diff, so make sure yours has that so that you can mount everything properly. We had a little bit of a hard time mounting up the PFP. Definitely try to have this job done with a friend because I can only imagine how hard this would have been alone. I didn't take the PFP off of my car when I did it, which also made it hard to get the diff lined up, so pick your poison, I guess. While you're down there, also make sure you put all the clips for your harness back in so your harness isn't dangling. Now you're gonna fill your diff up with oil and make sure everything works before putting the exhaust back on. To do this, make sure you put in the drain bolt first so you're not pouring all your diff fluid right back out onto the floor. Once you've filled your diff and put your fill bolt back on and tested that everything works, now you're going to put your exhaust back together. We didn't remove the muffler side of the exhaust, so we just needed to bolt it back to there and bolt it back to the other side where the back of the catalytic converter is. It'll just be a gasket on each side and two bolts holding into the pieces that are hanging still from the exhaust.
now last, we put the car back down and we take it for a test drive. Yes, sir! <laughs> we just... I'm hopping the back with you guys. <laughs> just get in the right way. That's how you get in a Miata. Oh, fuck! Something just stabbed me! Does it feel better? You move 10 feet, how does it feel? <laughs> how does it feel to drive your Miata again? Oh, you know what? I think it has like... What? Okay, he's letting us go. It has like what? What are you talking about? No, uh, because someone before when I would start my car, like it would have like this weird, like low idle, but I mean, it's chilling. Has it been running better now that it's on stock ECU? Yeah, yeah, but by a mile. Oh, look at this fucking guy. Oh, shit! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were Zombie struggle. Ground zero. <laughs> <laughs> e and B. Oh, what the fuck? Oi! Is uh, your fender? That's the way. Is that the fender? Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah damn. That's it. Walter's alive. How do you feel? Chilling, man. I'm happy. happy. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. That's what's up. Here. Happy to be here. I knew you were going to say that shit. <laughs> Anyways, till next time.